Welcome everyone to another special gorgeous day. The month of February has been very very important in many areas of my life. One, that it is the birthday month of Meher Baba. Two, that our book Angel Speak got launched last year in this very month. Three, that from this month onwards, I also started my journey as a contributing writer in Life Positive Junior, a beautiful magazine for the little toddling kids and teenagers. And it is, it is like, you know, it's a breath of fresh air. This magazine has been made with so much of love. And when I saw the, uh, the issue, uh, you know, of this month, and the colors and the, the, the articles focused upon for helping children. Today's children are of a different league altogether. We cannot treat them just the same way that you and me were, you know, brought up with things. We have to be conscious about everything that we think, speak and do. Not just for our karma and everything, but what we impart. And when spiritual studies are kind of imprinted ingrained in them at this young stage at this molding stage then it enforces a great new belief system that they can be brought up with so i was extremely happy and felt really really blessed to join in this journey to help little young children this magazine caters to children from about eight years to you know teenagers and you know eight years I would say because I think they're smart enough to read and understand what's there in it but yes focusing on school problems focusing on different different things you know that the kids are kind of uh, disturbed with at times or do not know how to go about it or what to do with it who to go and speak to and so on so all the very best to Life Positive Junior and may the subscribers of these young little angels grow in millions for you all. So catch hold of it, subscribe to it and I'm sure your kids are going to love it. So let's see what our angels wish to tell the universe for this gorgeous Monday. The angels tell us, when you impose conditions upon your happiness, you limit success or joy to a future tense, a tense that the universe does not know. So instead of constantly chattering of how happy you would be if this or that happens, start believing and living as if it has already happened. The mind, body and spirit lives in the moment of now. Be aligned and centered with the universe in that moment to bring about all the goodness and abundance that is there for you. Many a times we experience that when somebody says, I'm going to be happy when I get this job. I'm going to be happy when this guy proposes to me. I'm going to be happy when I'm 20 kgs lesser. And when that moment comes and when it actually happens, you just feel, whoosh, where did all that euphoria, that happiness go? You feel, oh my God, I was so excited and mm, it's just this moment. Now what? What next? And the reason why our inner emotions feel that is because we have capped the happiness. I will be happy when this happens. I will be happy if this happens. But the universe does not know either the past nor the future. The universe only knows the present, this moment of now. So the angels guide us through this message that anything that you want to do, anything that you want to achieve, do not cap your happiness and attach your happiness to it. Be happy right through the process of achieving it while believing every moment that you already have achieved it. You already have received it. It is not that 100% of the times exactly that very thing will come to you. Though many a times it does. But that only happens if it is meant to. But even if that exact thing does not come, something much better 
that is called for you or something at the same higher vibration that's meant to come to you shall be brought about. And you shall be made to feel that joy, that innate, you know, that that woo, that bubbling happiness. About, oh my God, I've achieved it finally. I've worked so hard. I've journeyed so hard. And that's what it is. It is to cherish that every moment, that journey, that process. As we say, it is the participation in a competition that's important and not just the winning. That's exactly what it is. It is the journey that's important and not just the destination. Because actually there is no destination. There is only achieving more and more and yet more. And it just goes on and on and on. So, if you want to lose weight, think about yourself. Look at the weighing scale every single day and think about that suitable ideal weight that you have to be. And see that figure on your weighing scale every single day. Trust me, if there is no change, try it. And then everything else, be it diet, be it exercise, all that you do will act as accelerated catalysts in moving you towards that goal rather than doing everything but feeling grumpy and sad and mm, about the weight and then thinking I'm doing everything in the world. Why the hell? I'm not losing weight. Because there are emotions trapped. The emotions that would have padded up that weight around you. The emotions, the void that could have created these triggers and catalysts of food items that you binge on. So when you start living and believing in it and seeing it every day as achieved, you shall move towards that goal, that destination much faster. And now we move on to the color of the day. And today's color is the beautiful orange. The orange for the sacral chakra. So work with the orange color and cleanse and clear the sacral chakra and ask your angels to remove any debris of discontentment, any debris of insecurity, of emotions, intimacy, relationships. And anyone who has got seeming issues like for women, any gynec-related issues or reproductive organ-related issues or your monthly cycle-related issues, then you need to cleanse and clear your sacral chakra. So work with your angels, clear this energy center and work with the orange color to help you to bring it back into its optimum vibrancy and frequency. With that, we leave you with another gorgeous day ahead. So stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and super God speed. And by the way, happy Valentine's Day to all of you for this gorgeous, amazing day tomorrow. I'm sure you all are going to await some little good news from so many people that you may be expecting. And allow love to come into your life in whichever form. Don't stick it to a man-woman relationship. Let it just flow. And we shall talk about it more tomorrow. Stay blessed. And yes, super Godspeed.